Hello and welcome to Gadget Guide USA. Thanks for watching my Mix C Deer uh, Bluetooth headphones uh, with APTX, AAC, and CVC 6.0 noise cancellation. Uh, as you can see here, I still have it in the box as normal. We're going to go ahead and start off with an unboxing. This is pretty much how it was sent to me. Uh, right there. Uh, came in pretty good shape. All the corners are, are good, but you can see there's a little bit of misshaping. Looks like it was smashed a little bit in shipping. Uh, and we're just going to hope the headset's in good shape inside. Uh, wireless V4.0 with APTX technology. I have no clue what APTX technology is, but it sounds cool. Uh, full range audio spectrum, deep bass, artificial protein leather earmuff. Ultra long standby time, up to 20 hours of playing and talking time, and I'm actually going to test that uh, by letting it play music. Okay, so this is the model. This is the Ghost set of headphones, and it's a wireless headphones, APTX, all that good stuff. And uh, let's go ahead and crack it open. There's nothing else really on the box uh, except for the picture, which I've already seen on Amazon. Let's go ahead and... Okay, looks like there's some goodies there. Pull that out. It's a pretty tight fit in there. Uh, looks like they did receive some battle damage in shipping, but the, oh, there's some goodies there, and we're going to go over that. Uh, well, uh, I definitely like that range of motion. That gives it, you know, it'll probably make it more comfortable on your head. That way it can fit, you know, multiple angles. Notice how it goes flat this way. It's pretty level here, but you can still go past a little bit there, and that's going to actually add to your comfort just in case your head is misshapen, kind of like mine. Uh, looks to be pretty sturdy. Uh, that's nice and soft, and we like that for long wearing periods, and these feel extremely soft, uh, almost like pillow soft, much softer than the other ones I've felt. Uh, of course, I'm going to put this through spaces. This is also padded, I guess, just for decorative, uh, but you can see it has much like a hipster look to it or something like that, uh, almost like a, you know, like a designer pair or a fashion pair, so... Uh, take that as you will. I'm not a big fashion person, but at the same time, I understand some people that are watching may be. Uh, so in the box, of course, we had the, the headphones here. Uh, looks like it's got a mic built in there, thing there. Uh, it has a 3.5 millimeter head jack, uh, which we like, hoping that it runs with no batteries, and we're going to test that as well. Uh, looks like a standard micro USB charging port. You're probably familiar with that. Most Android devices and a lot of devices these days have them. Uh, so, of course, and that other end is going to plug into whatever live USB port, cell phone port, whatever. We'll go ahead and get rid of that. Comes with a 3.5 millimeter cable, also called you know standard headphone jack. Uh, so, of course, we like that as well. Hopefully, like I said, it runs. You can use it as a set, a set of headphones without batteries. Uh, it comes with this bag here. I'm guessing it's just like a protective carry bag. Let's go ahead and make sure it fits in there and all that. goes in nicely. Uh, it's a little bit of a tight fit, but it goes in there. Now, uh, looks like uh, it's actually a pretty convenient carry bag there. So, uh, that's, that it is what it is. And then it includes uh, an instruction manual here, and we'll go more into that when I actually do the, the actual product review. I'll go ahead and get rid of that for now, and then it looks like it has this little review card, super user program, get free stuff, get an ad one year warranty, we definitely like warranties. Amazing product program. So it just looks like this is a you know a feedback card that's included in a lot of Amazon things. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go ahead and put it through its paces. I'm going to test its 20-hour music play time. Uh, I'm going to test the music quality, and I'm going to wear them for at least two hours to test the overall comfort. Yeah, that's not a bad job to have, huh? And we are back. I've gotten a chance to uh, run over these over the last four days. Uh, so... Uh, overall, of course, you know, I didn't actually need this. I have a ton of these cables, but... Uh, you know, the 3.5 millimeter male to male will work for these. Uh, you do not have to have a battery at all. Of course, uh, when you plug them in through the head jack and the battery is completely dead, it's not quite as loud um, as it is, you know, when it's actually amplified and powered using the internal battery. Uh, but it still works fine and we definitely like that. So even once the battery is dead, you can just plug them in with a standard 3.5 millimeter headset. They work great. Uh, of course, the charge cable this is a standard charge cable, so I didn't actually use this cable. I'm just going to assume it works, uh, but I will say these charge completely uh, using a standard micro USB cable that you find everywhere. Uh, I went over the manual, of course, and uh, it's solidly written. Um, you can tell that whoever wrote it, their native language was in English, but at the same time, it's not full of horrible spelling errors and things like that. Uh, it just basically tells you how to do everything, uh, how to charge the battery, plug it in. Uh, pairing is really simple. Uh, essentially, right now, okay, so I have it on. Uh, to pair the device, just make sure it's off. 
and it actually has a voice that says power off. I'm going to hold it to the camera hoping you hear it, uh, but at the same time when you turn it on, you just hold this power button for 10 seconds. Uh, just like you're turning on, it'll turn on and after a couple seconds after it turns on, uh, it will say, you know, ready to pair. And as you can see there, uh, it tells you that the pin code is 40000. I've never needed to do that. Uh, but at the same time, I'm just pairing with the standard. And it, it gives you a message that it's paired. You can kind of hear that it's a friendly female voice. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and go over the buttons as we continue. I imagine that's the next step in the manual here. Uh, pairing the headset. Okay, so we're just going to go over everything it tells you how to do. So you have a volume up and down, which is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, once you get to minimum volume, or maximum volume, it'll give a beep uh, to let you know you're at maximum volume. So kind of just a quick beep. Uh, the lady doesn't actually talk when you, uh, you know, turn the volume up and down. Uh, when you press the power button on and off, uh, it does in fact uh, tell you, you know, power on, power off. It's a pleasant female voice, uh, but I guess that's not really important. Uh, then it has fast forward and rewind, which is of course is to skip songs when you're connected with a phone or things like that. Uh, and of course it has play pause. So the next thing is uh, to make a call. Uh, so of course you're going to have to dial through your mobile phone. You can't of course dial with the headset. Uh, but at the same time the power button serves as the connect. So if you're getting a call, you're listening to music, click the play button once and it will answer the phone call. Or I mean, not play button, power button. Uh, click the power button again to hang up. Uh, if you're actually listening to music or doing something or just have the headset on, uh, two clicks of the power button will automatically redial the previous, the last number you dialed. Uh, just as a convenience factor, many Bluetooth devices do that. So, of course, fast forward, play, and rewind are pretty self-explanatory. We all know what those do, I hope, if you're buying a set of headset. Also, if you get call waiting, if you're currently on a call, just a single click of the power button will switch over to the next call. Uh, so, of course, it supports call waiting and all that good stuff, and that's mainly just through Bluetooth 4.0. So it tells you how to make a call, how to answer a call, and using a wired headset. So it tells you you can plug the 3.5 millimeter jack, uh, this, uh, and it'll work just fine, which it does. Uh, and then it kind of gives you some directions here. Um, how to power it on, power it off, turn up the volume, answer the call, reject a call, end a call, switch a call between the phone and the headset. Uh, so essentially if you hold the power button for two seconds, the headset will turn off and transfer the call to your phone. Uh, pretty easy. Uh, press the power button. Uh, to keep the current call and answer a new call, like let's say you want to switch over uh, and not hang up the phone, if you just click the power button, it'll hang up, the, like if you're on the phone, you get a second call. If you just click this power button, it'll hang up on the first person and answer the second call. If you hold it down for like three or four seconds, it'll switch to the second phone call while maintaining your first phone call, uh, you know, not hanging up the line. Uh, of course, and it says, uh, you also, to you can also long, you can also skip songs. Instead, if you don't want to push fast forward, you can actually hold down volume plus for two seconds. Uh, and get it to skip songs. So you can actually uh, go forward and reverse songs backwards and forwards uh, using either side of the headset that you choose. Okay, so I forgot to mention that when I was going over it, and it'll automatically pair. So if you turn the device on and it was paired with your phone, it'll automatically reconnect with your phone. Uh, so that's basically what it goes over. Uh, it goes over the frequency response, 100 kilohertz to 10,000 megahertz. Uh, on the microphone. On the speaker, it's uh, 20 hertz to 20,000. All right, so we're done with this, uh, and we're gonna go ahead and go over my review. Uh, the time that these headphones last is fantastic. It lists 20 hours uh, as use time. It actually played for 21.2 hours uh, without dying. Uh, I came around, I let it actually just sit there, turned it upside down, let it play music uh, with my phone for 20 hours. And at 20 hours, actually 19 and a half hours, I came to check on it. It was still playing, it kept playing until about 21.2 hours. Uh, that is just music. That's from full charge to dead, playing just music on my phone all day long, uh, bass heavy and all that stuff. But I didn't actually answer any phone calls. So if you're actually taking phone calls, it may take more battery. Uh, probably not, but hey, I don't know. Uh, and then we're going to talk about the style. Uh, it's not exactly my perfect style. I wouldn't choose these little uh, swirls. At the same time, they are extremely comfortable. When I say extremely comfortable, this is the most comfortable headset I've ever had. Uh, so that being that, I mean, I was amazed at the comfort level. These earmuffs are soft like pillows. 
Uh, and also, my it fully fits my ear. Uh, sometimes I have big ears. All right, it's a downside. But like one part of my ear will get clipped by this, and it's comfortable for the first 30 minutes or 45 minutes. But then after an hour or two, it starts to get uncomfortable. Not so with these. Uh, they're nice and soft. They fit my ears perfectly. Uh, I wish all headsets had this soft pillow style siding. Uh, and the sound quality is fantastic. I mean, I was really impressed with it. Uh, the bases are very deep, uh, deep, much deeper than other headsets at this price point. So I was very impressed with the bass. Uh, I was, uh, the treble was great. I did think that the mids were a little bit high. From my personal taste, I didn't like the way the mids were set higher. Uh, of course, this can be easily fixed with an equalizer. I have an equalizer on my phone, uh, which all I did was adjust the three mids uh, down slightly, and then I felt like the sound was crystal clear and perfect. I mean, the bass is really deep, the treble is really crystal clear, but I felt like the mids were amplified. It does have some type of technology that's supposed to fix the sound, uh, so you, I imagine you'll find your personal preference different, but at the same time, uh, I felt like the mids needed to be turned down. Uh, and like I said, the bass was very heavy. Normally I find myself turning up the bass on an equalizer uh, and turning down the mids and lows. I kept the bass exactly where it's out because it's very deep. I kept the treble exactly where it's at because it was very clear and I just lowered the mids a little bit. Of course, when you listen to it yourself, you may find uh, you know something else. Uh, the mic is located right here. So as you turn them, notice where the mic is at. Uh, one thing I noticed is if the mic was pointed behind me, uh, there was a lot more echo. Of course that makes sense because I'm talking forward, it's bouncing against the wall, then bouncing against the other wall and going into the mic. Uh, so if you're planning on using this as a hands-free headset, just make sure the mic is pointed towards the front. Uh, and even then, the mic isn't like, oh my god, blow your mind, fantastic. The mic is acceptable, they'll understand what you say, it doesn't sound like you're talking in a barrel. Uh, it definitely has some type of, type of technology to remove echo, uh, because you could tell even when I was in an echoey room, uh, when I spoke into the mic, the echo was eliminated, assuming that the mic was front-facing and not back-facing. Uh, so it definitely has some type of noise canceling technology going on. Uh, at the same time, if you're getting this just for the mic, I'm not, I'm not going to say do it. Uh, but the mic is definitely considered acceptable. Uh, and just make sure that it's front facing for you know absolute clarity. Uh, so the manufacturing of this is incredibly impressive. If you notice there, everything's well made. I definitely like this pivot. I think that pivot has a lot to do with this being the most comfortable headset I've ever worn. Uh, just because maybe my head is misshapen and no other headsets have fit perfectly before. Uh, but uh, whatever the case is, these are extremely comfortable. I almost want to, if I bought another headset or, or these break or something, I'd almost want to rip these off and transfer them to my next headset just because they're so comfortable. Uh, you'll notice the edges here, uh, which is a very common break point for me. Normally I overextend these and eventually this part breaks. Uh, you'll notice this is extremely well manufactured. It's very thick uh, and we definitely like that. I feel like this is going to last a long time. Uh, and it does of course expand. Uh, the expansion isn't very easy. Like if you notice, look at my hands, I'm actually having to pull a little bit to get them to go in and out, which some people may find irritating. I actually find that really nice. That way when, I, when I'm wearing the headset, they don't ever self adjust. Uh, so you actually have to make a concerted effort to move this in and out. Uh, so overall, uh, the material is very, very rugged, uh, extremely comfortable. Like I said, the most comfortable I've ever worn right here in my ears. These are soft like pillows. Uh, you can almost forget that they're there. This is also very well padded, so it's comfortable on the top of your head, and we definitely like that. So, at the end of the day, it's got everything I want out of a set of headsets, uh, including being the most comfortable I've ever wore. I like the fact that once the battery dies, uh, you can use this 35 millimeter headphone jack. Uh, but the downside of having the headphone jack is that these last so long. 21.2 hours of you know actual music time uh, in a single charge is pretty amazing. Uh, so I was definitely impressed with that. Overall, definitely an impressive set of headphones. Uh, of course, they come with a carry bag. I'm never going to use this carry bag. Uh, it's not really a feature to me, but at the same time, I know some people do actually use these carry bags. Um, and, you know, you're welcome to use it if you like. However, I just have no use for it. Uh, it's just one of those things that, uh, you know, are included. And we like flexibility. Flexibility is always a good thing. You may enjoy it much more than I did. Uh, but overall, the most comfortable headset I have, uh, the bass is extremely deep, the trebles are extremely high. Um, if you have an equalizer, I'm going to suggest you know you adjust it to your personal taste, uh, just as I did. Manual is acceptable. Overall, this gets a thumbs up from the Gadget Guide. Overall, I'm very happy I have these. Uh, however, I do wish they were a different style. They just don't fit my personal style, but uh, of course, if you're ordering them, then hopefully they fit yours. 
Thank you for watching my product review today. Comments are always welcome at the bottom of the page. Subscriptions are always appreciated. Thank you. And if you have any specific questions, comments, or suggestions, please email me at gadgetguideusa at gmail.com. Thank you for your time.